Another local politician is meeting with his constituents today. That's right. Senator Joel Anderson is holding his annual legislative open house this evening to meet with constituents and to hear some ideas for new legislation. Good evening. He joins us uh, from the uh, open house at the, at the El Cajon Ford. Hi there. Uh, thank you for being with us tonight, uh, Senator. Tell us a little bit about uh, what's ahead for California politics and what are you talking about tonight at this meet and greet? First of all, I have to tell you, this crowd is double what it normally is because I was on KOSI this morning and the word got out. So East County is ablaze coming to this event. Thank you for the KSI. The other thing I want to tell you is it's Toyota of El Cajon because if you still are out there and you like to come, tell me your legislative ideas. I'm listening. In fact, I'm listening to about 4,000 people tonight. Uh, Senator, in the aftermath of the San, San Bernardino massacre, have, have any changes been made to improve the vetting process in, here in California? And what are you hearing from state officials about this? Well, I'm glad you asked me that. We know that 31 governors said they don't want the refugees coming in because the, about two weeks ago, the FBI and Homeland Security said they can't vet all these folks. Now, look, we've always been a beacon to those who are, are mistreated around the world, and we've always had open doors. And we want to continue that, but we can't continue it and put people in our community at risk by allowing terrorists to smuggle themselves in. So I wrote a letter to the governor two weeks ago, and I said, Governor Brown, what are you going to do to ensure the safety of California citizens if you continue to allow refugees to come to our state? Look, I'm for those refugees. I don't think that anybody should be beheaded because of the Christian faith, especially a three-year-old. But I also need to know that nobody suffers terrorism here in our state. And that's, that's the tipping point, that balance. But we're a great nation. We sent people to the moon. We sure as heck can solve this problem. So you sent your letter to Governor Brown. Do uh, you expect to hear from him, or has he responded so far? Well, we haven't heard back yet, but I wanted to give him time to come back from Paris and work out the global warming issue, since he and the president believe that's the greatest threat to our citizens. I believe terrorism is the greatest threat. If we don't get an answer next week, I'll send off another letter, and I'll continue to, to, to rally and fight for my constituents. They're here with me today because they deserve the very best from government. That's why we have this event. That's why it's important. When, when you pay taxes, you deserve service, and it's my job to deliver it. What about new legislation in 2016? What can we look for? Well, tonight, about 700 great ideas that we will whittle down to 10 bills. Every year I do about 10 bills from the district, and we've had great success with it. You know, uh, uh, last year we had a bill that shielded children that, that uh, were being abused, and we closed a loophole that, that protected them. Uh, another bill we had was if you're in a in a divorce and one of the uh, uh, divorcees is, is not present and they offer a bad address, as, as part of the process, you had to send all your financials, including your Social Security, to an address that you knew was bad. So we closed that loophole so that people now don't have to worry about uh, identity theft when they're just trying to go through a divorce. So a lot of those ideas, I would have no idea if it weren't for my constituents who take time from their busy day to be heard. And I think that's terrific. We also have uh, vendors who, who heard about this and, and donated food, donated music, donated all sorts of things because they believe that civil participation makes our country stronger. And I, you know what? It's a privilege to represent you all in Sacramento, and I love my job. All right. You'll be there until 8 o'clock tonight. But uh, before we say goodbye, there have been some rumblings that uh, you may be keeping your eye a little bit closer to home and that uh, you may possibly uh, it run nice. against it would be nice Supervisor. To sleep in my own bed yeah, Supervisor night. Diane Listen. Jacob, maybe uh, you might take her on. Uh, how do you respond to that? Well, uh, I think after the first of the year, we're going to hear a lot more about it. Uh, there's a reason why I've been walking precincts every weekend. There's a reason why I've raised $270,000 in the supervisor's race. I know that my opponent likes to say that I'm not running, but everybody in my district knows I'm running. And, and I believe that we deserve the very best. I believe that our children have a right to live in our community and have career paths and opportunity for work. And I think that the county has fallen short of that. I don't want to have to visit my grandchildren in another county because we failed to provide the homes and opportunities. And I think that we can achieve that. All right, a big election year next year. We'll be looking forward to talking with you more. Thank you, Senator.